Titus chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Titus chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Paul, a bondservant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with godliness in hope of eternal life with God, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. Amen. Paul, a bondservant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Lots of good things in these two verses here. First of all, we see that Paul the Apostle is the one writing this by the leading of the Holy Spirit. He is a bondservant of God, as we are bondservants of God as well. We were purchased at a price, and we now live for him and not for ourselves. When we try to live for ourselves after he purchased us, we are fighting against God and uh, rebelling against him. He purchased us with his blood, as we even heard recently, and and we are his to live for him on this earth. Uh, he paid the price through Jesus Christ on the cross, and now we are his apostles, his hands and feet, to bring forth the good news that he started while he was walking on this earth. And so... Uh, then we, lead, we move on to the truth and hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie promised before time began. So all of this was promised at the very beginning. Uh, last night we heard comment about how God demonstrated that even in the Garden of Eden uh, by revealing that he would ultimately provide the sacrifice to all mankind uh, through the sin of Adam and Eve and the covering of the animal that whose blood had to be shed to cover them, so does the blood of Jesus Christ cover us all. But the thing that I felt stood out in all of this today, and I, what I feel that God wants us to focus on in this word today, is the fact of that God who cannot lie. God cannot lie. In James 1, uh, it says, Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. If he says something, it's going to happen. That is the truth. In Hebrews 6, it says, In which it is impossible for God to lie, that we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay a hold of the hope set before us. And again, in Habakkuk chapter 2, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And I believe God is stressing today out of all this word that he wants us to know we can trust every word that he has in his word and his word, his promises to us. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us that you're not a man, that you should lie. You, your word is true, and we are included in your word if we are your children. And we know you were your children because we wouldn't be up every morning on this call if we weren't. And so we just pray that you help us believe, Lord, help our unbelief, that your words are true for each and every one of us. Give us the faith to hang on to your word no matter what we face, Lord. You cannot lie. Only humans can lie, but you do not lie because you're not a man. Uh, so help us believe, give us the faith, and fulfill your word. Give us the patience for you to fulfill that word. And uh, thank you that we can count on you. We, we, though everyone might, may forsake us, you will never forsake us. Your word is true, and we thank you for it. Help us believe, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord.